Welcome to another episode of Seb Talks. Today I'm talking with DFL Irwin from the DeFi Lands team, and he's going to talk us through DFL and also the upcoming game Alpaca Dash. Welcome to the podcast. How are you, Owen? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. It's really a pleasure to talk with you and be on this podcast. And I can't wait to share more about our games and our past as well. Oh, definitely. I've uh, had a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of an alpha, you know, alpha look through of Alpaca Dash, and it looks really, really cool. But before we dive into that, and we will get to that very, very quickly, can you tell us what is DeFi Land and when did it start? And who, who are you and who's the team? Yeah, sure. Um, so first of all, my name is Defil Irvin and I'm a team lead and co-founder of Defiland, uh, first ever game to launch on Solana. Just before I go to Defiland as well, I've been in crypto since 2016. I've been uh, doing a bunch of different uh, tradings, I guess, back in the day. And then I got really heavily involved in DeFi. And then I thought that um, gamifying DeFi would be a great thing to do. And that's what, why we decided to start a DeFi land. DeFi land is like a first ever game to launch on Solana, which is like a farming game where you uh, have everything that, that is in crypto, like uh, farming, DeFi, NFTs, trading, portfolio management, but in a gamified visuals where you are playing the game like a farming game, but you are actually doing everything on chain and you can do a bunch of different transactions, transfer, receive, trade and do all the different stuff through a bunch of cool, great protocols through the game. And that's how we got started. We went on Solana Hackathon. We won Solana Hackathon back in 2021. Then we unfortunately got linked up with FTX and Alameda. They were our lead investors, market makers, everything. And it led us to not really great times, but uh, we have been doing and launching different games and different features and innovating in many, many different fields since 2021. We had a peak of the daily active users for DeFi and uh, at uh, 14,000 daily active users in the February of 2022. And then as the prices went a little bit down and then the FTX thing happened and we had FTX as a main fiat on ramp, fiat off ramp. So a lot of our users got screwed. So we had to uh, kind of change some new things uh, and add some new things. And that's when we came up with the new games ideas, new uh, structure and economy models and that we can dive deep into that as well soon. Great. I mean, look, what I mean by great is it's great that you've kept going through this bear market. You've just <laughs> stuck in there. And I think Alpaca Dash will bring in a lot more attention and just, you know, we're, at, we're in this stage where the builders that have been building, they know so much more than these new projects that are just going to be starting. You know, they've gone, they've worked out everything. So this is your chance to shine again, hopefully, in my opinion. So yeah. uh, how many people on the DFL team? Uh, so currently we are a team of 20. Um, uh, we are, uh, everything that we do is uh, in-house, everything, all the different features or the games, or sounds or animations, everything is in-house. So started from the blockchain to the uh, engineering and uh, also the like the sounds for every single alpaca noises. Everything is done in in-house and pretty proud to be leading this uh, really, really talented team. Yeah, no, that's, I didn't realize you had 20 people in-house. I did play uh, DeFi Land and I did a couple of tutorials on it, actually, and also... Anyone that played DFL, they ended up, um, I imagine they would have got a stupid airdrop because you integrated Jupiter very, very early on into the actual swap mechanism inside the game, right? Yep. We were actually one of the first uh, Jupiter supporters, uh, definitely one of the first game to integrate them. Not sure about first protocol to integrate them, but uh, we, yeah, everyone, every default and OG got a huge airdrop from the Jupiter because uh, we even had this team challenge where like the, uh, it was like competition who would uh, swap the most. So a lot of people were trying to swap as much as they could back in 2021. So it was an OG bonus. It was the volume bonus. It was the transaction bonus. Like everyone who was active back then, even in 2022, they got a uh, really uh, nice uh, bonus. It's like a couple of our users got a uh, 50K plus even more. Uh, so uh, pretty happy for them. Wow. Fantastic. Um... Yeah, well, my major point here is with DeFi Land, they've integrated something very early on. There are just a, a team of shippers and artistically, it looks really cool. But uh, look, I think uh, today, it's Wednesday, the 24th of April, I believe public beta launch is happening with Alpaca Dash. So take us through the game. Yeah, it's uh, it's finally after uh, we basically started the developing Alpaca Dash year and 
two months ago and it's been really a roller coaster many great things happened many bad things happened since then and we are finally after many closed testings many feedbacks many bug reports and everything we are ready to go for the public testing and uh it, it feels uh, i feel a little bit nervous even though i've launched several times already different features different games and uh it still like feels like we are uh, launching something completely new new genre new game new and kind of exciting stuff so cannot really wait to um show what we what we have here should i just uh, start explaining how everything works then dive into the yeah. details yeah give us a little rundown this sure. looks this looks really cool Awesome. So first of all, I'm going to explain what uh, Alpaca Dash is. So the, the game is called Alpaca Dash. It, it is um, the new game from Defallen Studios. And it's a an, uh, first ever idle racing X RPG game, meaning that it's an idle racing game. You don't have to play the game actively yourself every single time. It's like um, you register your alpacas into the races and they race. But it's not just the like horse racing. It's actually... Uh, has a lot of gaming details and a lot of strategy depth in, in it as well. So alpacas are unique creatures, which uh, they have their secret genetics, and also they have skills. They can learn new skills that they can use in the game. They can use... Can you show us? Yeah, sure. Can you show us some of those? Okay, so we're going to join a race. This is the best way to see how it all plays out, and then Owen will talk us through everything. Yeah, definitely. So alpacas have... Uh, different unique things. They have their stats, they have their secret genetics, but also they have the skills. So skills are the main difference from any other game out there. The skills are something that can change the course of the game. The skills, with the right skills, really bad alpaca can beat the really great alpaca. There are buffs, there are debuffs, there are shields, there are passive, active skills, and there are combinations of the skills that are shaping the meta in the specific games. And right now, you, here you see it's like a, one of the... We have different maps as well, different environments, different obstacles. So there are a bunch of RNG components and elements and also a lot of depth into the game as well where you have to learn which alpaca is great on what obstacle and and so on and in which with what skills and what skill set. So here you see the live race here and let's see who does what and who wins. So it's a uh, here you see the alpaca race and here you see the leaderboard here you see what skill did who so what they activated you're going to see the skill getting activated right now as well soon. Here you're seeing that someone just turned off the buffs that's like they get a speed up from that here are the rocks the obstacles basically here. So that slowed down your alpacas as well. You can also click on the uh, alpacas and change the camera views as well, the way you wish. So you can have a really customized experience. You can take a look at your alpacas or you can go auto as well and the alpacas will do their own stuff themselves. And let's see, how, so this guy got really fast with his skills. And now we see that he won really easily because he had great skills, but also had the really great genetics. And mm. it was- It was initially- it was the purple one leading with a, a nice sizable lead and then it switched. Yeah, the cool thing of why this game is really interesting is that it, it has a lot of dynamics. Your Alpaca might be leading, but then the, he might get a debuff. He might get buffed. Or he, if you have a shield, then you can cover the from the debuff. So like, there are a bunch of different combinations that you should expert learn and see what makes the makes the sense for you and makes the sense for your Alpaca. Every Alpaca is different. Every Alpaca have their own secret strengths and weaknesses. Some Alpacas are great in the... Uh, winter some alpacas are great in the rain some alpacas in, are in the great in the heat but you don't know with that the more you play with your alpaca the more data you gather and statistics that you gather the more you will understand and more you will use that as an edge to win the different races and here we have this awarding screen but uh to explain more like how everything works as well i'm going to show you all the details as well uh, after the race you will see like how much rewards you got, how much XP you got as well. I'm going to talk about the XP as well soon. But then you also can see what skills the guy had who won. So like you're going to see like what skills did they use in the race, what what led them to win. And also you can you can see that the losing up did not have any skills. So that could be the reason why he lost as well. But the thing is that let me just um, uh, give you some information about alpacas. So alpacas have five different stats. This kind of stats that you see, and you can get the general knowledge of what their um, kind of genetics are. But every single stat from this is actually a combination of a bunch of different things. For example, top speed might be 20, but it is actually a combination of top speed in the rain, top speed in the 
desert top speed in on the rocks obstacle so there are a bunch of different combinations and it's just a general uh, thing that you see here so you don't know the exact details of your alpacas unless you play a lot of games and you observe it really really in details uh, also uh, you also get the statistic you can just analyze the statistics of them so you can see like who is winning a lot who is not winning a lot and so on but the main thing here is the skill tree and the levels more you win and more you play the more experience your alpaca is getting Whenever you are leveling up, you're getting a, a skill point. So here you see a skill point. With those skill points, you can unlock the new skills. So more you play, more skill points you have and more uh, and better skills you can have. Here, let's go in a skill tree. So here's a skill tree where you can see that we have three different categories, the intelligence, agility, and strengths. Intelligence skills are mainly like uh, debuffs. And uh, like, uh, for example, here, you can see that inflict dehydration on the nearest alpaca for six seconds meaning that it's going to slow down other alpaca so you can get an edge and win the race or for example so a debuff is something that can affect another alpaca yeah that's it uh here for example in agility mainly it's like making your alpaca faster or smoother or so on for example here this is like really good if you want to get the early lead is like on the start it your acceleration is boosted by 50 percent, so it goes really fast so you can get really early lead with this skill so Maybe your strategy is to go get early lead and then get the shields so you don't get debuffed. So like here you have the shields as well, for example. Here this is like grant the steel of the will, basically shield fortifying your alpaca against exhaustion two times. So two times you can block the debuffs. But like there are a bunch of different skills. Currently we have the 30 skills, uh, 35 skills, and we're adding some more as well every single patch. So they're going to be all the time, the news and uh, all the new cool things coming. You can unlock the skills like i have five skill points so i can this costs two skill points i'm gonna unlock this skill and then when i unlock the skills then i can go and unlock in even deeper skills so when you are starting to play the game you will actually have to uh, strategize which skill path you want to develop like do you want to get this skill then like you will have to go with this path or should I go to this skill first then I will go have to go with this path or should I maximize agility skills here so it's like a lot of different combinations and a lot of in specific so alpaca one path might be great in one alpaca but another path might be great for another alpaca so you should really think what will be the best for my alpaca and their stats and try to develop your skill tree that way so it's really unique kind of thing there. Yeah. With the skill tree, how long would it take to max out all the skill points? Yeah. So uh, currently, as it's the first public testing of the game, we want to make it a little bit faster. So progression will be a little bit faster. So we can test many things. So we can have more feedback and everything. So currently, with an average uh, gameplay, so entering five to seven races per day, it will, and like, let's say you... Uh, on average uh, end up on third or fourth place just on average you will need a, around a month uh, period of time to unlock the all the skills but that's a pretty fast timeline uh, but in the future it will need around two months that uh, you will have to uh, grind and uh, get an edge over other users because the thing is that let's say i might have an amazing alpaca but if i'm not playing game really actively someone with a really bad alpaca can overcome and beat me because he's playing a lot he's learning the game and he's unlocked in the skills and that's the thing but also to make the game really interesting since the beginning is that we're giving 10 skill points to everyone in at level one so if you come and register to the game and you have alpaca you will get 10 skill points so you can unlock some of the skills since the beginning to make the game fun and already uh, interactive uh, for everyone since the beginning. Gotcha. And then as this is during public beta stage, you mentioned that for probably maybe two months it'll be in public beta. Could be more, could be less, I guess, depending on bugs and fixes. But then at the end of public beta, what happens? Does everything, everyone gets reset and yeah. then everything starts again? So the, the, the way that we are planning to actually... Um, implement the game so currently there are not much of the token economies in the game currently it's just to test the dynamics mechanics and the way the game works and visually looks uh, the way in the future how the game will work is that they're going to be seasons so like the season is going to last from two to three months and uh, the season is going to be having leaderboards it's going to be having tournaments and so on so after each season ends the skill points will be resetting like skill tree will reset for everyone and we are going to be adding new skill new skills in the skill tree new uh, we're gonna be shuffling skills we're gonna be balancing the numbers for the so because like we believe that uh, they're gonna be some, gonna be really op uh, in specific uh, circumstances so we'll have to balance all the time 
so as the season ends, we're going to be uh, having a massive update with new environments, new skills, new obstacles, uh, new additions, and then uh, the grind starts again. However, the higher you finish in the leaderboard, how, however you are in the previous season, you will get the bonus as a starting point for the next season. So you will have more skill points to start uh, as you were a great guy, a great player in the last season. Okay. And so um, during this public beta, any tokens that you're earning, they are not real tokens. They're just like, I guess, test tokens. Is that right? No, actually uh, here already in public testing, it's already on the real money. Even though it's called the public testing, it's already on the real money because uh, we believe the game is ready. And uh, yeah. here you have the DFL, like here's your balance. It's like our own cryptocurrency that is used for the for the uh, entering the races. And also that's what you win. Uh, so it's, you, ha you have to have some... DFL on your wallet, but then you will have to deposit that into the game. So you should click on this and then you see like from wallet to the in-game balance and you can choose like whatever the amount you want to deposit, you confirm and you, tr you transfer the money into your account. And that's how you play the game. But after you win gotcha. some, you can also withdraw that the same way and you get the, and you can get some really nice bonuses as well if you play it really wisely. And what's it, what's a thousand DFL worth in dollar terms? Yeah. Right so now? The the way the entrance fee is gonna be uh, from thousand DFL to all, all the way up to one hundred thousand DFL. Mainly it's gonna be thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. So it's gonna be mainly like on on that kind of range. Thousand DFL is one point five dollars. Uh, so it's not that much. But if you are really digging enough and you wanna just go for really really high races, you can go like for example already in one hour there is a that is fifty thousand DFL. So one hundred thousand uh, lobby is gonna be really rare, like once or twice a day. But uh, it's gonna be the thing that you can it, that's like one hundred fifty dollars. So uh, if you wanna just really gamble a lot, you can do that as well. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna add uh, several things as well here. So. Here you have a profile. So on the profile, you can rename yourself and see like how much you have earned, how much you have lost, the win rates and everything. But also we have the referral. So you can refer the friends. You can copy that and send to your friends. And uh, whatever when they and they play the game with alpacas and they uh, pay some money or whatever they earn or lose, you're gonna be earning the money from their uh, uh, basically deposited amount. So you're gonna be getting rebates uh, from that. Whatever we earn, we gonna, you will be sharing with you for the, those who you actually referred. That could be a really nice thing. And the additional thing is that we are having the leaderboard system and uh, leaderboard users kind of, so you are competing for the leaderboard. We are having $30,000 in USDC for the prizes here, plus DFL tokens, NFTs, and the NFTs are not just the Alpaca NFTs, but Aurora NFTs, our uh, partner project NFTs, could be a mad led NFT as well in the prizes. So we have a lot of surprises for the public testers. So if you're thinking, should I test the game? If should I play the game? And even if you're not interested in the game, you might be interested just because of the That's leaderboard as well. Incentives. Yeah. Just during the, the public test. Yeah. And of course the goal would be, you know, ship a really cool product get people interested and then you can have some good prizes for you know the first season the second season yeah exactly okay. and do we have any details or is there like um blog posts or anything that goes over you know is it the first 10 the, the like the, the the highest 10 people with xp that get a portion of the usdc or a top five yeah so currently we are not we're keeping it secret like how many users will be getting uh um, the prizes but uh here is this thing we're gonna be having two main tracks so like the uh, the pnl gonna be one of those like the pnl matters and also the second gonna, thing gonna be uh the uh the extra like how how much you have raced so those two gonna be like the main uh kind of tracks uh, to reward the users but however, we are having this really interesting thing, but that we're gonna be having several additional cool titles that you can win. For example, who has lost the most races? Who has uh, tried uh, to um, win, for example, who has uh, end, uh, ended on second place the most, so who is not really winning a lot, or who has learned the most skills? So we're gonna be having those kind of additional side tracks for the winners, and uh, you can get some funny and extra prizes. Could be even, you might be getting even a mad lad for losing the most so that you're pretty mad, I guess, and you, we might give you... So we're going to be having those pretty nice surprises for the public tester. So you can expect some really nice additional extra rewards, even if you are a really bad uh, racer uh, in the Alpaca Dash. And we're expecting those 
in about two months time. Correct? Yes, exactly. So ultimately, we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be uh, take this up public testing first phase around the month and a half, two months. And then uh, we're going to um, uh, we're gonna fix all the bugs, improve the game, make, take into account all your suggestions that you guys have. And that's also going to be rewarded. If you provide the feedback, if you help us the, improve the game, we're going to be appreciating you in several ways. So that's really, uh, we, we're, uh, we're going to be welcoming that. And then we're going to be launching the game publicly in the summer uh, in 2024. We're going to be launching the game in the public. And you're going to be, it's going to be also on the mobile. So you can play it from the mobile there as well. And uh, also, if uh, for the, for the, just uh, as I mentioned, the mobile. If your game is laggy on our website, or you don't have uh, like you're on, not on your web to play the game, we also have a light vers uh, version of the the game where we have a mobile front the website that you can register from the mobile. So uh, we're gonna be having all the different de links in the description. But uh, yes, we're gonna we also have mobile friendly and light version of the website. If you're laggy or you know are, you're not at the computer. So right now I can jump on my Phantom wallet in my on my mobile phone and I can play the game with the light version. Yeah, that that's exactly. I can I can show you that as well. Give me a second. So yeah, uh, here is the like I'm just showcasing on the uh, desktop, uh, but like you can go and just open that in your Phantom wallet as well or any other wallet as well. And here you have like you can do everything that I did already in the game. You can do everything from the website as well. So you can go into the races here. You can see like all the different for the races. You can choose the lane, for example. Here you can choose alpaca. Here I'm gonna register here. So you, everything you can do there. Uh, also, you can check your alpacas, you can check your history of the races, you can check your profile here, you can check your statistics. So you, basically, you can do everything that we do from the game, but from the website or from the mobile. We also have the news panel here, you can check the, all the news and just read that as well. So we have worked really, really hard to make sure that there is a mobile-friendly website, or even if you are laggy and you cannot really play the game, as it's like sometimes you have don't have an amazing PC, you can also go from, to this website from the mobile, uh, from the web as well, and just like have this kind of website as well here. Do everything out there. You can also watch the replay modes because, uh, and you can actually go into the replay mode and analyze your races. Uh, this is a cool thing for two reasons. One, you can actually see how everything worked, what skill, what damage, or how it got, how did shield work? Because when you're watching the uh, race in the live, it could be really hard to analyze everything in the real time. But with the replay mode, you can slow it down. You can re, uh, kind of take it to the specific second or a minute and you can analyze everything. But also the second thing is that you can, with the uh, replay mode, you can create an amazing content. You can hide all the UI. You can choose any alpaca out there and you can actually get really nice shots or you can get some really nice angles for the content or for anything else. You can slow it down, as I mentioned. You can get some really nice high highlights or how everything turned out, or you can get like really nice shots from that. But also, as I mentioned, you can get really um, nice uh, analyzing stuff, like how, what, when did they activate the skills? What, what happened? How it got there? And you can you can see all those there as well. Which lane did what on what second? So it's a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. And also we have the settings where you can have customize everything the way you wish. So you can, uh, it's not laggy for you. It's uh, the best performance. You can also have the key bindings to uh, have a, like navigate everything with just really, really simple keyboard keys or just the mouse. So yeah. I believe it's gonna, it's gonna create the content uh, around the game and also learn the game um, uh, about, around Alpaca Dash. And yeah, they have cool. really- I think people are gonna ask this question. It's pretty clear to me it won't be clear to everyone but just to confirm the alpacas decide via random number generators ai or, or whatever you can tell me what when they use their buffs or debuffs or skills yep you can't control that at all yeah so that the reason why we, we actually could uh, make people choose the skills themselves like when to activate and click but the thing is that i do not everyone yeah. has like a lot of time in the web street to play all the games all the time and just every single race in the alpaca dash you register you choose the skills the way you want to in this race and then you leave you can go and just come back after a day and the race themselves better agency alpaca has better it's gonna use the skills so that's one thing to keep in mind so uh that's uh that's the way works but also like for example alpaca will not use uh the skill that helps them to go over the uh, rocks 
if they are not on the rocks. So there are some kind of conditions that they have, sometimes the skills have to confirm and then the skills get activated. So, uh, but at the end of it, yes, I'm inactivating skills all themselves. Gotcha. Awesome. All right, this looks really cool. So how do we get started? Where do we get one of these NFTs from? Yeah, so uh, currently it's in public testing uh, phase. So you have to own an almighty of to get to play the game. There is no free to play, even though in the public lo launch of the game in the summer, they're going to be already free to play with Compressed NFTs. And we're going to be partnering with Drips, Drip uh, uh, on there. But like currently, it's only for Almighty Alpac NFT holders. So if you don't have. Who will you be partnering with? Uh, Sorry? Drip. Oh. Yeah. So Drip cool. users and subscribers on our platform, on platform for will be getting CNFTs, companies all of free to play alpacas. So they can play the game free to play and enjoy and even win some prizes as we're going to be having free to play leaderboard as well. Okay. So you've got a Drip channel. So make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Channel. That's some alpha there. Nice. Awesome. All right. But let's go shopping. <laughs> can you show it? Like what's the best place to get one from Tensor or Magic Eden or both? Yeah. So yeah, best place to shop is... Um, several places i guess you can go with on tensor or magic eden as well and just like whichever you you prefer there i'm not gonna judge it's like the same for us uh, but you can go there and the change called almighty alpacas and you can buy the any of those and you what you actually have to look for is like floral alpacas mainly are not that fast and are not having that great um kind of stats on of the speed and all the different stats that i showed you and you can filter those out as well yourself but to have a better UI and understand, like, it's really hard to read, like, if this alpaca is bad and how to analyze this. But if you want to analyze that really nicely, you can also go on our own NFT marketplace, which is marketplace.defile and that app. And if you go onto the collections and then to all Matis, here you can also see, like, uh, alpacas listed in here. It's a uh, different price floor. It's, like, less liquid. But uh, I believe people are going to start using this more. And if you go into specific alpaca, you will see, like way better visuals of how their stats are. You can also see their attributes really easily. And uh, you can also see the history and everything. So I would recommend to trade here. Uh, and um, and yeah, if you trade with DFL also, there is no royalties with uh, nothing. So if you trade buy or sell in them, there is no royalties on that as well. But once again, you can trade, you can trade, you can go here and... Uh, can I ask? Yeah, by all means, buy one. But quick question. Can we take the token address from Tensor or Magic Eden and go and have a look at it in the marketplace at DeFi land to see yeah. the overview of yep. Exactly. So here you can go, like let's say Alpaca T4, right? You can go in yep. Alpacas, uh, show all NFTs here, and then two, three, nine, four, right? You can search okay. for that. And then you can see all those stats. You can see all the different things. But also you can also go into the um, website that I showed you previously. And here, and then you can actually like, you can also see alpacas here as well. For example, here, you can see that. You can also see their state. You can see like how many they have won, how they have performed in different races. So like maybe you determine like maybe they have great, but they are losing a lot of games. Uh, maybe you buy those, maybe you not buy those. So you can see all the data on our website, but also on the marketplace as well. But all those, so sorry, back to that website yeah. quickly. So here, these, this is all alpacas, but they're ranked like there's like number 349, sorry, 347, 99, 2106. Yeah, that's like just the. Find the number. Oh, yeah. So uh, we, we, we are, we're going to be ed editing the uh, numbers here. There is no kind of search. It's going to be in editing like a, a day or two. But here are the filters, but you can filter them out uh, the way, like for like, them as well, and filter with the speed and everything and uh, like stats. But they're going to be also the search uh, that you can search the, with the number as well. No worries on that. All right, cool. <laughs> Let me buy right, so one. You pack, yeah. Yeah, I have I to. Think, for, uh, for the, a lot of people, yeah. For the culture. I think, exactly. I think a lot of people will probably be using Magic Eden, even though it's very cool that you can go and buy some DFL and pass a royalty. However, you know, Magic Eden, diamond farming. Yeah. Makes people sense. Are, people are after diamonds at the moment. And also, it's not that really liquid out here. Like, there are not really many uh, activities going here because, like, people just, as you said, they are farming the... Previously, they were farming tensor points. Now, they are farming magic hidden diamonds. So, uh, we, we, we know that. So, we're okay with that. And it uh, doesn't matter where you buy. You can buy that and then test the game. And uh, But make sure that you uh, may buy the alpaca and then analyze their... So, that you know 
what they are they're bad at and just uh, even also the alpaca bot that I just bought could be a bad one if you compare it to my other alpacas but they for example like this alpaca is like having great stats uh, but like if I use the other alpaca with the right skills I, it can really easily beat this alpaca as well so that's something to keep in mind and that make sure you understand the game really really well yeah so I'm, I'm guessing maybe the advice is start with um, what you I mean maybe you can tell us what would be a good starting alpaca and then I imagine entering some races maybe a few hours jumping into discord maybe there's someone in the community that has like a really good blog or analyze kind of document and then from there maybe you can sell that alpaca or buy another one that's a little bit better so like i guess to start off with the game maybe we just go for something that's a good kind of all-rounder yep. and then move out from there would that probably be the best advice yeah i would advise so as well like uh do not go for a great alpaca. So, uh, there are like three types of alpacas. Like there are almighty alpacas that are like, this is the almighty alpaca. Then we have the mythic alpaca. So like this guy is a mythic alpaca. They have different skin colors. They have different skin colors and they have really, really great stats. So those cost already 10 sol. Uh, so those are already uh, really expensive and people know the value of those. And then we have one of one alpacas. Here we have like astronaut, we have the, uh, like the, the footballer, we have the Bob Ross here. Like there are like main different kind of, but there are 11 of them and those are not even selling. Like those are going for 100 sol and even more. Uh, so it will be really hard to get one of those. But these have the, the best stats. So do not go for those at the beginning. Try to get a normal alpaca like could be even this for the floral alpaca basically out there and try to understand the game try to learn how the skills work for example what skill actually does what like if there's effective in this map in the rain in should i go with the combination of this five or other five so yeah. that's the main thing and when you learn if, that that's when you get the better alpaca and then you start winning a lot of races but if we go back to the marketplace let like let's start people off with uh, some general advice that they can just put into their own research plan. Should someone be like, is that a good alpaca to maybe start with? So yeah, one and a half sole, speed is 28, acceleration is 73. Could it potentially place? So yeah, there's like uh, one of the biggest things that I forgot to mention is that in the um, in the races uh, in the lobbies, there are we have a, a rules. So for example, as the number one alpaca, for example, this one will definitely be bidding this one, and it will be unfair for this guy to always bid this guy. We decided that we're going to be implementing the rules. And the rules are that, for example, if we go here, the rule says that alpaca should be uh, should be less than 10 levels, for example, in this case. So if your alpaca is already really OP and he's a lot of, on a lot of levels, you won't be able to participate in this lobby. Or the other lobby might be, for example, let's check here. So this one is like without the rules. But for example, in this one, let's say, alpaca should be less than, okay, 15 levels. Like there are, we have a bunch of different rules that are, for example, your alpaca must have the sum of all stats less than 300. Okay. This guy cannot participate there. And a lot of people yeah. cannot participate. So we are making ex inclusive lobbies as well, where even you have better alpacas, all the alpacas in those lobbies will be bad, like you. Gotcha. I got you. I got what you're saying. Uh, I do. I completely get what you're saying. But but still, yeah. <laughs> as a general guide, sure. what are we, what are we, like, what should we go for? Should we try and get our speed and acceleration to be more than, say, 120? Yeah, makes sense. Or is it like, is there, is there kind of a rough guide that works majority of the time? So, yeah, let me, let me try to kind of also uh, explain that. So, uh, better the stats, the better the alpaca, that just like pretty uh, kind of thing. Uh, and also, like, speed and acceleration together if they are both up that goes well in the in the kind of couple also like handling and endurance in the couple go well intelligence high also if you try uh, play a lot and you have a lot of intelligence until so you have a lot of skills intelligence helps a lot there so at the end of the day it depends on your play style and also different maps have different requirements of the stats for example here it's like Golden Glades map, this one. And there are just two turns and just two really big straight lines. So here, speed and acceleration matter the most. But in here, in this map, as you can see, the shape is more, there are a lot of turns. So handling and endurance here are way, value, have more value than the speed. So like, it again, depends on the weather. It depends on the obstacles, the amount of the obstacles. So one alpaca, like this alpaca might be great. This alpaca is going to be great in the, for example, in this lobby, but maybe not really great in the golden glades. So once again, it's really, really hard to say which alpaca to buy, which uh, stats to look for. But uh, at the end of the day, it's like what you think going to work for you. So 
as a general rule, you can also uh, go for maximum amount of the all five stats. Like the more value the sum of the five stats have, the better it is at the end of the day. Okay. Well, I guess um, maybe the takeaway there is <laughs> if you're buying your first one, people can jump into Discord, ask a couple yeah. of panel, maybe. Yeah, there'll be there'll be a thing, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you will see that the really great alpacas on the floor with the really great stats, but it, it takes time to analyze those. But uh, once again, it's really hard to give advice which one is the best uh, from the floor or from this uh, kind of area, because uh, once again, in one race they can go in the first place, and other race they can go in tenth place, depending on the skills, depending on the weather, depending yeah. on the map. Okay, uh, fantastic. No, I got gotcha. you. Um, also, there's a limited number of alpacas. Is there going to be breeding or something coming in the future, or is that? Yeah, that's also a great question. So currently, there are all, all, only three thousand three hundred alpacas. There are, they will be added some more as well. So for the people who don't know, there is also baby almighty alpaca NFT collection. So it's like a loot boxes. You can you can grow these uh, baby alpacas and they turn into almighty alpacas. So like some people are not growing them; they are just like keeping that as a like loot boxes. They maybe are. Uh, Kind of uh, thinking that the price will go up, so uh, that could could be a thing. So uh, they are just like limited number as of now. As it's in public testing, we are, there is no breeding, there is nothing yet so far. But in as the public launch of the game happens in the summer, as the seasons are implemented, there will be breedings as well. But the cool thing in the alpha additional alpha here is that almighty alpacas are not getting tired. So basically, I'm like they are not retiring. But the breedings, what they will, so basically, new generations of alpacas will not be almighty alpacas. They will be mighty alpacas, and they will retire. So these alpacas are not dying, and other alpacas who you breed will die. So this will become even more valuable in the future. They'll be eventually turned into dog food. All right, cool. And uh, well, what should people do now to get started? I know they can go and get one. They can go and join the public test link. Do you have any, um, is there a blog out, any general kind of concise information in one place I can link everyone to? Yeah, so we're going to be publishing the Medium article. I'm going to share the link with you. So like they're going to be like all the information that you need there um, that you have to read. And then uh, we're going to be also... One second. Sorry, that, that's coming out in a few hours, right? Yeah. Do you want to just show it, show it now? Because okay. cause it, I can't even if... I don't even know if I can get this edited today. I'll try. Okay, yeah. Because it'll be... It'll be good timing. Yeah. But we can pretend like... Yeah. So here is the Medium article and uh, people can go and just understand everything, how everything works uh, and just like all the news. This is really nice, good read. If you don't have like idea how to get started, uh, here you're going to learn everything. And it's pretty decent Medium article with a lot of information. And afterwards you will have any questions because like there are, you're going to be having a lot of questions because the game has a really big depth and uh, there are a lot of strategies there are a lot of details so if you will have any questions feel free to come into our discord channels and ask us any questions we're going to be online for like 20 hours per day our team going to be online there so you can tag us you can and also our community is really really awesome uh, and they will help you with any questions with any uh, problems just do not get uh, caught with the scammers uh, we will never dm you first uh, we'll just make sure you are safe do not give any information to anyone just uh just ask and just watch for the uh, uh, officials to respond to you very good advice uh i have a feeling uh that this is going to get a lot of attention and wherever some project gets a lot of attention they attract scammers so just be super vigilant in discord you can if you're new to discord you can turn off your dms or if someone does dm you just maybe just block them until <laughs> you know exactly what's going on just block them and if anyone tries to link you outside of Discord, be very, very mindful. And I'll also link below uh, my video on setting up a burner wallet in case you do fall for anything. At least you've watched that video first. Well, thank you so much, uh, Erwin. Is there any final things that I should hear from you before we get people started on their Alpaca Dash journey? Uh, yeah, so uh, we've been really, really actively working. Uh, we even though we have hit really big uh, by FTX and a lot of we we've received a lot of FUD and everything, we have not stopped working and we are going really actively. And currently, we're starting the episode where we shipped stuff already. So we start to kind of share to the public all the new things that we've been working really actively. So we have a Salpaca Dash public testing phase. Then in, in uh, several weeks, we have Default and Season Two starting. Then we have Default and Mobile that is already ready, gonna be going into alpha version as well. Then we have Alpaca Run at different 
the hyper casual alpaca running game and then we have the follow alpaca dash public launch so we have a lot of new things coming already and which we have been working on already for two years so uh if you're new if you have not still joined our community make sure you join because we are here for a ride we have new a lot of things exciting things and are really polished high quality things and uh you will love in our community so that's uh one of the uh, things i would really um recommend people to do Okay, so currently you're racing with the DFL token. We know that there's some USDC and some NFT prizes at the end of public beta. But is is it always going to be the DFL token or because Alpaca Dash could grow into something really, really massive? I also saw there was a betting tab that maybe betting is going to come in the future. Will there be a new token or anything like that? Uh, so yeah, I cannot really say much details about that right now. But what I can say is that um, as the game grows, as Alpaca Dash is going to be going on its own. It's going to be potentially becoming even bigger than DeFi land. Uh, we, we are planning to incentivize people and we are planning to go really, really big in there. And uh, what I'm going to say is that uh, the players and the testers who are going to play the game and test the game right, right out right now will be appreciated. I'm not going to say how, when, what, but they're we are known for caring about the community the most and you can ask any other uh, community member. So uh, that's, that's all I can say, but, uh, but yeah, you will be happy. Exactly. I mean, sounds like you're going for a little bit of the dupe effect as in look after your community. They look after you. Exactly. You're, yeah. We're, we're, we're done with, uh, with the, whatever other meta could be. Let's, let's get this community pumped, giving feedback, shipping things and look after them because they are effectively all ambassadors. Sounds good, Erwin. There's your actionable. Go join Discord, see if this is a game for you. Personally, I have a couple. I'll be buying a few more and I'll be playing it actively. I think this has great product market fit. Lots of fun, lots of engagement. And it's enough of a small amount of time that I can kind of invest without, you know, it's not going to take so much time. Of course, there's prizes. There's all sorts of cool things. And just to be completely clear, I'm excited on this because of my own reasons. There's no sponsorship of this podcast in any way. So thanks for coming on the show, Erwin. Appreciate it. See you in Discord. Appreciate your time. I appreciate uh, you kind of uh, inviting me here and just giving me a platform. I uh, cannot really wait to welcome everyone in, in our Discord, in our community. And thanks for once again uh, having me here. Sounds good.